Hi, Adam here, Customer Success Manager for SketchUp at Elm Tech, the exclusive distributor in the UK and Ireland for SketchUp. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a super useful extension called Profile Builder 3. Profile Builder is a multifunction extension that can be used in many ways to, well, you've guessed it, build profiles. You may already perform this task using the native SketchUp tools such as follow me or push pull. To do that, we would normally draw the face that we wish to make into our profile. We would draw the path we would like it to follow. And then you may either extrude it or use the push pull tool to create the profile that you would like. Now, this is a really useful tool that you'll be using all the time, no doubt. But sometimes when we're doing things over and over, and we want to do it to a better standard, to a better quality and faster. A specific tool is really useful for that. And that's where Profile Builder comes in. So let's have a look. Using Profile Builder, I can very quickly draw in, in this case, some coving. I can also very quickly draw in perhaps some uh, picture rails. Go around just using this tool, it behaves very much like the line tool, just straight lines joining on to points at the end of things. And there we go. And we can now see very quickly we've got some additional detail, and these little details are going to help us to get a better result at the end. But perhaps someone doesn't like the way it looks. Maybe it's you, you're iterating. I look at this and I go, oh, that doesn't really look like coving. I've made it a bit uh, of a funny shape. Uh, it's a bit too small. It needs to be deeper. It needs to be chunkier because I really want it to be very decorative, luxurious Renaissance Paris look that I want to achieve with this video. So I can actually come in and change this. So this is the big advantage with Profile Builder, which is a parametric modeling solution is that we can actually change things after the fact. So I'm going to make it deeper. I'm going to maybe make it taper off at the bottom here. Just erase the stuff we don't want. And there we go. I also want it to be a little bit lumpier and bumpier, but kind of most importantly, a different shape. So let's just delete the stuff we don't want those paths there, those look like they've been drawn by hand. Oops, I've deleted a bit I don't mean to do. And let's just draw that in there. There we go. So we've now got a completed face. And that will now apply it all the way around the edge. So change that after it's happened. And we can do this with height and depth and, and other things as well. So really quick to do something that we might be doing a lot of. Um, I'm actually going to use the same set of tools from the built-in library. These are actually some uh, profiles that I've saved myself. And we're going to use this to fill in some of this panelling detail. I'm going to do this just very quickly. More panels. Maybe we want to do some skirting board as well. So let's grab a different profile for that. Let's use this one labeled plinth and let's go around just doing the same thing again. The examples we've got here are all very nice straight lines. So what happens when we need to do something a little bit more complicated? Well, in that case, just finish these off. There we go. Such as this mirror here. This is what this is meant to be. We have another tool to help with that. So we have uh, the smart path selection tool. Now we can actually use this just to trace around the mirror. And you see here, we've got a green section just here, a red section here. And this is going to say it's going to start, go around the top, come around, do this here. And I'm going to pick another profile that I've pre-made for this one. Um, let's do, oh, I've lost them. It's in my OneDrive. There we go. Select that folder. And I'm going to pick this mirror one here. Now I can hit this build along path and it's going to draw that in for me there. So very, very quickly, this detailing is happening and this is going to make things look better for me. I'm also going to draw in some more panelling. I've got one for that too, so I'm going to use this one. And again, nice straight lines, this one. Just going to draw it there. 
these doors are actually components. So I'm just going to duplicate that detail across the whole model. And there we go. This one here, I actually would like it to be open. So I'm going to just come into my model. I'm going to rotate it till it is open. Maybe about there. And then we can see on the back side of my component, I'm also just missing these ones. I'm just going to draw the same thing in again. Same thing again. And there we go. So we've now got a room full of extra details. Now, let's have a look at this here. It's looking really good. Certainly channeling that French look that I want. Maybe all we need now is some furnishings and some accessories. Let's pop those in there. Voila. Profile Builder 3. If you found this video useful, take a look at the YouTube channel. We've got plenty of other ones there. Also, come and join us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The links are just here. This has been Adam showing Profile Builder 3. Thanks for watching.